Welcome back to the Grizzly Digital Network. We're here for the Grizzly Post Game Show. I'm Stephen Carey here with Coach Sheetinger. Coach, how did it feel to be back on the field after 11 months of waiting? Well, it was phenomenal. I've got to tell you, man. And you had a really good baseball game to watch, too. So um, I think for our guys to get back on the on the field and uh, and put uniforms on, see another uniform across the way, just remembering where we were 11 months ago, we've tried to feed that perspective to them. And, uh, and I think that's – we just kind of tried to enjoy the night. We had a good team to play and just tried to enjoy the night the best we could. Yeah. And one of those guys that provided a boost early was Nick Barnes. He set the all-time record for home runs here at GGC. What's it like yeah. to coach a guy like him? I am beyond proud to be his coach, man, and especially the, the kid that I met when I first got here, and he was one of the first calls I made, and uh, the ability to see his growth. It's, it's actually a conversation we had this past week, and – um, hitting that home run and, and really being a catalyst for what we want to do offensively. It's who he is. Uh, to set that record just says a lot about him, man. He's just got a, a lot of talent. But it's, I'm more interested in how he's grown as a person, which has been uh, – he's turned into a great communicator in our dugout. He's turned into a leader. He's obviously one of our hardest workers. If you can't tell, he loves the weight room. Uh, but he, he does a phenomenal job, and uh, he's going to have a big season for us. We're excited to have him in our dugout. Well, and it seems like your team is a team of ralliers. Though it didn't go your way tonight, mm. you guys came back and fought later in those innings. How did you feel about your team's resilience and how they came back into the game after facing a pretty tough deficit late? Yeah, we've, we've got a competitive group. I think um, what we just got done talking about with our guys is – I've been telling them for the last couple of weeks, man, adversity's coming. I think when, you, when you've got a really talented team, the game's got to figure out, well, how tough are you and, uh, and how can you bounce back and how resilient are you. So the game brought us some adversity, which I welcome with open arms. I think anything that, that we can take at this point to harden this group, especially in game one, um, we wanted to see that happen. So, you know, it was good. We, we'd like to see some things go our way. We could have taken care of the baseball a little bit better. Uh, we could have some competitive at-bats. We had a couple moments where the game could have swung completely our way and we just got to work hard to come through in those moments and we will well and I think one of the biggest aspects of the team that really shined through tonight was late game pitching what sure. do you have to say about that I was fired up for Rob Hamby he's just uh the ultimate bridge guy for us you can hand Rob the baseball in any moment and he's going to come through and and stretch us some innings and he's ultra competitive Tyler Clayton man I mean it's so awesome to have his freshman year back uh, because he is a talented kid, man. He knows how to pound the zone. He knows how to compete. He comes at guys. He obviously, he's a little redheaded, freckled kid, but, man, he really knows how to compete, and we're excited to have him in there. I was very proud of, of what our pitching staff did. And, and, again, we've got another host of arms that we're going to throw out this weekend that we think can do the exact same thing. Well, Coach, thank you so much for your time. This has been the post-game Grizzly Show presented by Jets Pizza. Join us tomorrow at 6 p.m. for a great matchup versus Brian. We'll be happy to – have you guys tune in. Thanks so much, Coach. Thanks so much.